As soon as the call comes in, the paramedics hit the road. Randy Armstrong knows how to deal with heart attacks, strokes, but now he's learning how to handle non-emergencies. Uh, look at the patient's overall social, social picture. It's through Blinn College's community paramedic program. So we're going out in the community contacting, uh, say, our frequent flyer patients that call us multiple times out of the year, and hopefully we can offset uh, their use of the 911 system. Meaning more home health care checks, like making sure they keep up with their medication find them and help them educate themselves on their chronic disease management process to maybe keep them out of the hospital longer. In 2011, close to 400 patients called several times for non-emergencies. So that's 20% of our call volume. So if we just focus on that 20% and we can reduce that number, it keeps us from having to add more paramedics to our to our crew. Washington County EMS is the first in Texas to try this approach and only the fourth in the country. It's an innovative attempt to decrease health care costs. It's about $400,000 to add one paramedic ambulance to a community. Um, so if this year we didn't add a crew, we actually added ACP providers to go out and find that 20% call volume and decrease it. Though this type of health care is ideal in rural communities. I do think it's the future of, of paramedicine and it's something that we can do that directly offsets um, health care dollars. Washington County EMS estimated it could save $1.2 million within the county through the Advanced Community Paramedics Program. In Brenham, Monica Castro, KXHD News.